Certainly, that was the toughest uh, match uh, for the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. Uh, compared to the game, games one and two, where uh, it was a blowout, really, there were blowout um, uh, wins uh, for the Warriors. Game three was a lot tighter, uh, and the Warriors really had to uh, dig deep. Uh, at the time, they were down 109 uh, and 113, you know. Uh, towards the end of the game, and that's when KD uh, took Come over. On. Personally, he erased uh, that deficit, and you know, um, Steph Curry just put icing on the cake, okay. and there we go, three 0 okay. It looks like the Cavs are about to get swept. That's the way it's looking like. But then <laughs> LeBron James also, and yeah. of course, Coach Leon Lee have also been reacting to this wonderful night where they had to put in their A plus game, but then it was just not enough. LeBron James, and of course you have a Kerry Ivan. LeBron scoring 39 points, Kerry Ivan 38. But that wasn't enough for them to clinch it. Oh, man. Before the series even started, we knew we was dealing with a, a set it after we won the East Conference Finals that we getting ready for a juggernaut. I mean, that's it's probably the most uh, most firepower you know I've played in my career. You know, I've played against some great teams, uh, but I don't think no team has had this type of firepower. You know, so um, you know, even when you, even when you playing well, you got to play. You got to play like, you know, a plus plus. You know, because they're gonna make runs and they're gonna make shots and they got guys that's gonna make plays. So, um, you know, we made enough plays tonight to still win the ball game, but they made a couple more. I feel. I mean, of course, you deflated from losing the game that you, you know, you should have won and you were right there. But you know, after tonight, you know, you got to get back to the drawing board. Um, if we come out with the same fight intensity we did tonight, um, I can respect that. And we got a good chance of winning on Friday. Yeah, there's some things you just really need to do. They brought a KD when they lost uh, last season to the Cavs. Maybe they should also look for a particular player they can bring in. Who can they bring in? Okay. Mm, yeah, you forget. Yeah, this is not like football where you just sign, uh, you know, the next available superstar there. It's <laughs> it a is a hard, yeah. Yeah, complicated. But like I said, um, yeah, it is what it is. The, he, LeBron had one of the best games of his career in the playoffs. And um, he's come out there looking very defeated. Yeah, yeah the, the message really is... You can't the cap on his face. You can't even see the nah, face it's clearly. Not, yeah, I, I imagine he's... a lot of disappointment yeah, uh, in, all in of those it. eyes of his. And I just... I mean, sometimes we just have to admit that, okay, uh, this team is a lot better than us. Definitely. Of course, he had done that already. He's done, yeah, he's done that. But still, they can't afford to give up. There's still one more game to go. Last year, uh, they became the first team to overcome a 3-1 okay. deficit. This year, because the they can take it a step further. <laughs> <laughs> right now, they they've got an extra push that they needed, and they got know, it. And so, I it's know. falling into place. So what's going to happen in game four? On Friday, Friday we'll find night. out if it does happen mm. and goes in the favor of the Warriors. Well, history in the making. But what do you think is going to happen in Game Four? Do you okay. think the war uh, I mean, this kind of loss can, uh, is very capable of just demoralizing you and yeah, yeah. Obviously, Alan Djokovic. So you think they will come out and fight and and yeah. try and win? They won't blow it. Oh, okay. They will fight, but they may we'll lose see. the game. But then, obviously, they're going to put up a fight just the way they we'll did see. last night. We'll see. All right, okay. let's go. Let's move on now on the show. That's about it uh, for the NBA uh, playoffs. And uh, let's talk about the French Open now. Okay, we're all we're down to the semifinals. Yeah. And for the men's and the women's uh, singles. And in the, in the men's singles, we'll start with that sensational uh, results between Dominic Thiem and Novak Djokovic. Dominic Thiem sensational beat the defending champion, uh, Novak Djokovic, 7-6. Six three six love. love. Okay, I see why you mentioned Djokovic there when we we're talking about the Cavs not giving up. Okay, it was that was his first win. Uh, that was um team's first win over uh, Djokovic in this was a six guy. You know, he tense. took a, a, a kind of uh, so apart, which I was like, I'm looking for a particular adjective yeah, to describe it. You know, that's, that's uh, fine. <laughs> perhaps, yeah, yeah. tell him a new one. Seriously, <laughs> well, he didn't want to do that again. Somehow, I felt. I really don't know what happened to Djokovic in this game, but mm. then that spirit have actually left him. Djokovic uh, is I'm known not... for coming down from two set downs. Yeah, he to has a reputation for doing done it. That. Over and over Seven, in his career. Yeah, but not, not, yeah that's because... Terrible. 
That's because um, he, yeah. um, Dominic Thiem is playing incredible tennis, tennis. Uh, at the moment. We'll One come back to that particular part. game uh, later on uh, for a bit more analysis. Um, elsewhere, Rafael Nadal defeated uh, Carreno, okay, Pablo Carreno Buster 6-2, uh, 6 love. Um, Buster retired in a while trailing uh, in that particular set. So uh, Rafael Nadal maintains his bid to win a French, uh, French Open title. Andy Murray, oh, Andy Murray was suffered several defeats in the final, also made it to the semis uh, with a four sets win over Kei Nishikori. Uh, Murray overcame a slow start to reach his fourth consecutive Roland Garros semi-final with a 2-6, 6-1, 7-6, 6-1 win over his Japanese rival. Last but not the least, Stan Wawrinka, who's just been flying under the radar, Cecilia. Yeah. He's doing, going about his job quietly. quietly. No one is talking about no him. Yeah, he sent um, Marin Cilic <laughs> packing him in straight sets. And um, yeah, so very cool way to do that. Six three six <laughs> three six one, and uh, yeah, so that's our okay. That's the semi final uh, matchup, and it's Dominic Team okay. versus Rafael Nadal, okay. the best two players in the ATP tour this season. And um, okay, Stan you know, I'm standing on Andy Murray. And Andy Murray, remember what happened last year? Uh, Stan Vavrinka lost to Andy Murray. Andy Murray went to the final, but somehow he just. Couldn't Quickly, let's it. do the women's singles. Um, yeah, your favorite is out. Mine is still uh, flying. Yeah, you have to rub <laughs> that Elena, <in. laughs> she is out. But, but then, you know, when you you're playing against a champion, sometimes it's always very, very difficult. Mm. Simona Halep, she, she, the experience actually counted for her. The way she was able to save match points in that, when she was 5 1 down Incredible in the second stuff. set, and in the final set, 6 love, just somehow she was able naked and that's why you have Elena Sibley to Elena she is out yeah she's out it's a shame because um I think inexperience just yeah. uh came to play eventually uh there and so you know fair play to Simona Alep for uh taking full advantage uh semi-final matchup is between uh Yelena uh, Ostapenko and Timmy Bachinski that's the birthday bash clash both you know celebrating the birthday uh later today and Simona Alep versus Karolina Pliskova. Yeah, Pliskova. Pliskova can become the world number one if she wins uh, this particular game. Okay, all right. We'll go for a break now. We'll come back. We'll be talking more on sports.